Well, for the 15th year now, hey, it's Coolio if you don't know. And uh, yeah, um, 15 years ago on May 13th, I posted a video on the YouTube back when it was owned by itself and not Google. Um, and it just kind of kept going from there for some reason. <laughs> but uh, I figured that I was going to do at least a couple of things tonight. Um, and let me just tweak this first because I'm going to need it in a second. So, the first thing that I'm going to be doing tonight uh, is we're going to start this uh, community challenge. It's going to run for 30 days. And uh, there we go. Uh, so this is a community challenge for uh, what I'm calling Archimegalo. Um, so over the next 30 days, you can uh, contribute your points, your doodads. Uh, I don't know if I can set a, a, like a overlay goal for this, unfortunately. But yes, you can contribute your doodads. Once I collect 50,000 doodads uh, between everyone who... Uh, between, between all of my viewers. If we can do that, then I will do Archimegalo, which is going to be a 12 world solo async multi world. Um, which, if you're not familiar with all of those words, if, you've, if you have seen them all, but never in that order. Let's start from the beginning. A multi-world is um, basically multiple games that are um, collaborating with each other to eventually reach their goals. So you can have one person playing A Link to the Past who finds the wave beam for a person playing Super Metroid that allows them to find another item for a person playing another game. And there's like over 50 games that are officially supported and probably at least a hundred more that are unofficially supported. Now there is a limit, a daily limit of 2,000 doodads per person. Uh, so it will be a community effort. If you want to see me do this, then uh, please put in your doodads and uh, hopefully we can reach our goal. Um, yeah, uh, I, I didn't explain the whole thing, by the way. Multi-world, multi-game, multi-world, I've explained that much. Solo async. So async means you have uh, not all of the worlds will be played at the same time, as opposed to a sync run, which is kind of the default way to play, which is what I do during Super Shuffle, where everyone's playing at once. Uh, async means that not everyone is necessarily playing at once, and that also comes into play with solo async, which means I'm playing all of the games. So I have to keep 12 different games sorted out in my mind, and determine which game that I need to play to advance all of the other games. I've seen a couple of other people do this. I've seen Arborelia do this on her channel. Uh, Deceased Crab, of all people, is doing it on his YouTube channel right now. And uh, I want to do it as well. So we'll see what happens. Uh, so if you want to do that, uh, you just go into uh, the uh, redeems uh, button there. Already have 4% raised and I'm guessing that's probably Jewel. Thank you, Jewel. If that is you. Um, 
yeah, we ha we have a whole month to get there, and uh, maybe I'll throw in some extra streams just to give more opportunities to uh, to put in some points. I don't know if you can uh, put in uh, doodads while I am not streaming. I'm not clear on that, but uh, I might do some like extra Final Fantasy fourteen streams or something. We'll see. Play it bigger. So the next thing that we're going to do is um, I got a couple of videos queued up. Uh, so this first video that I have queued up is the very first video that I posted to my YouTube channel, which um, is not the one that I posted on May 13th. It, I don't remember the date. I didn't check the date on this one. But uh, it is the first video that I posted, uh, and here's some context. Um, so back in uh, back in college days, uh, one of my friends had this uh, PlayStation Two game called La Pucelle Tactics. I don't remember very much about it, but you control this uh, this girl called uh, Prière. Oh, I didn't open the chat right. Thank you, Joel. It should work now. Um, so yes, uh, there was this game called La Pucelle Tactics where you play as a character named Prière who's trying to become the Maiden of Light. Uh, it is a tactics RPG. And uh, I don't remember very much about it, but I do remember one particular mechanic and that is what I was demonstrating in this video that I recorded. Now, for some reason, the audio did not record. So everything was explained on screen via the annotation system that YouTube has long since dropped. So all of those are lost. So I'm going to do my best without having refreshed myself as to how this works to try to explain what's going on. Hey Grim, how you doing? Just so you're aware, there is a community challenge right now. Uh, you can contribute up to 2,000 doodads per day to make me do uh, Archimegalo, which is a 12 world solo async multi-world. Uh, that should be a lot of fun. So yes, uh, Lapisette Tactics. Um, so I have the description for the two videos, the two first videos that uh, that we're going to be watching here. Um, uh, you can only put twenty thousand. Uh, you can only put two thousand per day, anyway. So you know, it's up to you. Uh, so I have the description for this first video, and the first part of it is just. Um, basically saying like this video had annotations uh annotations have disappeared oh well maybe i'll demonstrate this again someday with sound who knows anyway description begins hall of the dead in the devil's stomach area is a great place to perform miracles to train your equipment you often have to do a lot of planning spend several turns moving your characters to exactly the right places and invest in change-ups in this video, I got real lucky. Only one portal was against the side of the map, thus allowing me to chain up every dark portal on the map and complete a 537-step uh, chain. Unfortunately, it doesn't finish the map, as there was a bat over in the corner that was outside of purification range, but still a valuable purification. This video was recorded using Fraps while playing the game on PCSX2, so it's a bit slow, still good quality. Uh, I've annotated the video so you can learn a bit about how to make your own chains. Sorry about the fact that there's no sound as my computer won't let me record wave out output for some reason. Now, this video might, ha might not have sound. And I might not have seen this video or played this game in a long time at this point. But I still remember exactly what song plays for this. So we're going to have that play. Okay, here we go. 
So at this point, I've already set up the uh, miracle. Um, I've uh, put down a couple of change-ups. There's a couple of uh, arrows on uh, on the field there to uh, kind of redirect everything as it needs to be. Um, so I'm gonna select Pierre, and we're gonna get the start. So purify. And we start the purification process. Now there, I think there, if I recall correctly, there's like three different colors of dark portals. Um, and if you merge them all together, then you get this white line. But you can also merge like different uh, colors uh, to get different effects. Um, so depending on what colors are merged, we'll uh, decide which um, which effect the miracle will have. Now, having people standing facing in certain directions um, also affects the flow of uh, the dark portal, as you can see here. So, so if someone's facing like up into the right then the dark portal will go up into the right and things like that. Uh, you can also use a change up um, but you can if you start to use a change up put it over top of a um, over top of a dark portal you can change its facing um, without having to actually use it, which is quite valuable because then you get to not use all of your change-ups and just use them exactly where you need to, uh, to put them. So now there's a couple of dark portals that were inside of this miracle zone. So those now also get activated, thus resulting in even more points. And this also, I think, uh, levels up Priel's abilities as being the one who initiated the, uh, the purification. But you see that bonus down in the, uh, in the bottom left there. Um, once we're done counting all of that up, um, all of those points will go into Priel's stats. I think this loop is about to finish here. I think. There we go. So that's one more loop done. Now th this might take a little bit, because uh, this is not going at full speed. But um, this, I do remember, is one of the earlier levels in the game. So you can just start grinding this almost immediately after like all the training stuff, and just end up with like super high stats. Like, I don't remember exactly what this level's up, but, um... It does get a little nuts. Alternatively, now that I'm thinking about it here, um... I think you can, like, repeat this map continuously without purifying anything. And eventually, like, it'll start getting corrupted and you can go into, like, sort of a dark world kind of area. Your <laughs> kneecap percent speed in it. Now, there's a couple of spaces around the, uh, around the edges, like, uh, glowing red spaces. I think like you don't necessarily have to clear every area. Like uh, you might have to clear it once to open those up. I, like I said, I don't remember. 
But um, like at any point, I can send one of my characters to one of those red spaces to just leave this map. That's kind of how you get around like from map to map. So, one of the colors has been uh, completely removed now, so now we have the, uh, the light blue, which I believe is just green and blue uh, combined. And you see that this uh, purification is healing uh, my units, so it's already having a different effect. However, it also heals enemy units, so you do need to be careful about how you're using it. As you can see, like, the bonus is still going up, and it's going up faster and faster, like, for every loop that we're doing here. And, like, there is some, like I said in the, uh, the video description, there is definitely some time investment in this, uh, trying to get everyone positioned. There's also the, uh, monetary investment because you need to buy all these change-ups. Now here's a Vangel, which massively heals everything in its range. Um, there, there was a couple of loops there where nothing happened, but that's because we had already summoned Ragnarok. So you can only summon one miracle uh, once for every purification. I think this is the last go around. Now, yeah, where I was saying in the uh, video description, like I got lucky that only one of the portals was right on the edge of the map. This because of the fact that um, by doing, uh, by performing a miracle, everything inside of the miracle also gets triggered and purified. Everything outside of it, well, that's too bad. And there we go. Look at this huge load of stats that just gets dumped into my equipment. Some of that equipment was level 1 and now it's level 17. Anyway, that is it for that uh, video. Um, Grim, if if what you're asking me is what server am I on, I will I will ping you in Wapa. Okay, so video number two, Let's set this up here, video number two is the video that I posted, well one of I think three videos that I posted on May 13th, 2009. So this is the very first Let's Play the World episode. Um, this might be a little quiet. I might have to like adjust the audio once we uh, get started. I have not looked at this. I've just downloaded it uh, using YTDLB. And um, I do remember that my old videos are very quiet. Um, basically, I remember using this crappy desk mic it's like a stem with like this it was really not great anyway um i had to drop my chair all the way down and then kind of 
uh, position myself kind of half under the desk almost uh, in order to be able to speak directly into the mic so that it would even hear me at all. On top of that, uh, like I mentioned, the, the wave out didn't record. So I had to record the game audio from my speakers, which was not unheard of. Um, Deceased Crab, when he started out, also did this. So I didn't feel completely out of place doing this. Um, but yeah, it was, it was not a great setup. Uh, I think I was using uh, Cam Studio at the time, and I was trying to figure out which emulator that I was using. Um, I think I was using uh, an emulator just straight up called uh, Small P Big SX, like PSX emulator, um, made by someone only apparently known as PSX author. Um, yeah, it was not a great emulator. Um, I did not use Hypercam, but, um, yeah, it was not a great emulator. It was not a great, uh, recording software, but back then you kind of made do with what you got. Here is the uh, video description for this video. Welcome to my first ever, ever, ever Let's Play. Today I decided to start running the PSX game Tomba. In this first part, watch as I bring a frog home, feed a monkey, and learn that even some pink-haired nature boys can't swim. Like I said, this is my first LP. Don't be hating. Colon P. Um... Okay, Graham, that's that's enough. Um, but yeah, uh, I have not watched this video. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. Um, I should not delay this any further. I'll let's make sure that the video is loaded in and press transition so y'all can see this. Hello, YouTube people. This is Coolio, if you don't know, and I am going to do a Let's Play. That's right. Uh, I've uh, been watching a lot of... Uh, By the way, uh, I want to mention, I uh, it's from what I can see from the, uh, the second part of the description, um, apparently I was sick at this point, so expect coughing to happen. But yes, I'm already like... Uh, that's what I sounded like 15 years ago. Speedruns and Let's Play movies recently. Let's Play movies. Uh, especially from uh, YouTubers like Nintendo's Advocate and Zazuma. All those good people. Oh wow, I Zazuma. thought, why I not make a Let's Play I myself? haven't thought of Zazuma for And so I'm going to start with so a PlayStation long. game I really like. Um, it's from a company called Whoopi Camp. And you probably know what it is, and if you don't, then you're not reading the title of this video. Let us watch the opening sequence. Ah, this is such a good song. I kind of wish that uh must hurt. Like seriously. Yeah, I mean getting your teeth your teeth chipped like that not gonna be a joke. And, oh no, is there something happening? The Japanese version I of this game has the lyrics here. We'll get into that. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing, I have a bit of a coughing problem at this time. Yeah, I, I was not in particularly good also, physical for or mental health kind of back then. Dull, but uh, I have about 
three microphones and they all suck. I figure that this one's probably the best one to do a YouTube video with. Oh no, the bracelet! Wake up, there is work to be done. Yes, that's right. Work to be done. Let's go. And of course, this game is Tomba. It's one of my favorite PSX games. Especially for the event system. Really enjoy that. This game has a lot of anime cinematics. Anime cutscenes. Most of which I don't even remember because it's been a while since I've played this. So this is not a speedrun or anything like that. I'm just playing through for fun, like any other Let's Play. <laughs> I've never seen you around here before. I used to live here, but it's changed so much. Well, if you need any info, go to the small hut on top of that hill up ahead. This crazy old geezer lives up there, but he should be able to help you out. Before you go, be sure to check all of the signs on the way. The local visitors bureau did a great job of supplying helpful info to visitors. To read the signs, press up on the directional button and the square button. By the way, what is with the pink hair anyway? Never mind, I don't want to know. See ya! So you can see, I have I have been a reader since day one. And so begins the second event, the Hundred Year Old Wise Man, because the first event is the la the last one out, the Grandpa's bracelet. I believe they're about uh, I think it's seventy events or so. There's a hundred thirty. Anyways, we're gonna need this for just a little moment up ahead here. The Furious Tornado. It was a monkey. The monkey went up the tree. Can't do much for the monkey right now. But you'll see. It's a frog. We need to take the frog home. Love these events. I wonder why they pick evil pigs, but whatever. Oh, heading off to the old man's hut already. Unfortunately, the fog is so thick up ahead that you can't see a thing. Looks like we'll have to turn around. Do you dye your hair? Is it naturally pink? Uh, never mind. If only I had my nature survivalist mail order catalog, I'm sure there would be something I could order out there to get rid of this fog. Oh well, bye. Yeet. Or a random exit there. And this must be the fog that they were talking about. In fact, it is. Let's use that tornado we found a while ago. I don't know how you carry a tornado. That is completely beyond me. But that's the answer to this puzzle. Na 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 na. Now, let us continue on our majestic quest to bring the frog home. I mean, to get the grandpa's bracelet back. Yes. And both of those things one. eventually. The farting flower there. I don't know. Sure get I'm not mistaken, I think because we're gonna need it later I on. think I was playing this with an actual PlayStation ah. controller at, like on top of that. I might have been. I definitely have an adapter. I we still have it. Shot the pig, the frog's I'd rather home. use my uh, so we're gonna have to go back for the frog, frog isn't that nice? If you said no, then you're absolutely right.
cut the frog back. Again, apologies. Pardon me once again. I was sick. Hey, Terry, and how you doing? This is me 15 years ago. Na, na, na. Must not get hit, or the frog will. Yeah, I, I did not check this video um, before doing this. This is also something we need here. Those little chicks. I pick up some chicks along the way. And there we go. Frog is home. We've got two one ups and 2000 AP. Speaking of which, there is an AP box. What is it for? Well, maybe if we get 100,000 AP, which will take a few parts, but we'll get back to it. You want to get past me? Haha, <laughs> can you swim? The name of the event. Is it all? Ah ha ha, I thought so. Mr. Turtle saved you this time, but next time you may not be so lucky. You can't go past the door here unless you can swim. Trust me, you're not up to it yet. Come back after you learn how to swim. Hey, you hungry? Why don't you take this with you? See you later. Much later. Ha ha ha. There's just an interesting sidebar that he decided to take there. By the way, are you hungry? Here are some bananas. Okay. Uh, thanks. I guess. Anyways. Those bananas do serve a purpose, but we're not going to feed Tomba. Remember that little monkey that we saw a while ago? I'm going to give the monkey the bananas. Because it makes so much sense to give bananas to monkeys. Now we hang on to a tree branch here. Cats don't swim there, just jump up. float just above the water. Leave me alone. I haven't eaten all day and your pink hair is giving me a headache. Apologies, this is the only video that we're Sorry watching for the from this Let's Play. So, we're gonna give the bananas to the monkey. Because it makes so much sense to give bananas to a monkey, doesn't it? Na na na. I know what I can do for you. I'll teach you a trick, okay? Press the square button and the directional button together to run. It's called the Animal Dash. You got it, kid? The square button and directional button. Well, gotta go. And I should probably go too, because I'm running out of time in this part. So we'll see you in part two. And there we go. That was my big YouTube debut, for what it's worth. Uh, and yeah, um,. So, uh, Tyrion, uh, since you just came in, uh, hello, and, uh, we have a, uh, a channel point challenge, uh, going on right now. 50,000 doodads will make me do Arc Megalo, and we have, uh, 30 days to do that. And that's, that is a 12 world, uh, async solo multi-world, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, Grim uh, Low, I guess? Alright, um, so there is one more video that I want to show. This one is not for my channel. This one is a little different and Uh, a little related. So this one is something that was posted to YouTube about um, 
about four years ago. And it's basically a rip of um, a videotape that was played in Japanese game stores back when Ore Tomba came out. So, you know, Jap the, the Japanese uh, version of this game. And it features the full song Paradise by Tokyo Q Channel, which is the, the song that is used as the theme song for Tomba. So lyrics and all, here is the promo video and Paradise by Tokyo Q Channel.
アキラなんとかしてくれよこの豚今度の相手はコマブダだぶったまげこれこそアクションゲーム俺とんばなんとかしてくれよプレイステーション Japanese commercials are weird, man. And dang way, that is、uh, the three videos that I wanted to show today. And thank you for the resub zero. 26 months, man. That was a long time. Also, I don't know if you saw any of the videos that I just played, but.、Uh, Yeah, you miss them all. I've been lurking since the start was driving. Gotcha. All right. So, with that, well, and we still have over three hours left in this stream, so we should probably play something, right? Um. Actually, there's something that I didn't set up correctly before I did this, so I'm going to have to do so right now. Right at the moment.、Uh, where did I put it though? Ah, here it is. Take this. There. So now it is the time for video games. <laughs>